Hello, my name is Darren Saxby and I'm the Measurement Control Sales Manager at Amplicon. In this video I will present the technical advantages and benefits of the ISP DAS range of Ethernet analog and digital I.O. modules available from Amplicon. The Tiny series, the ETPET series and the Y series. For each of the ISP DAS Ethernet I.O. series covered in this video, I will explain an application story where each of the modules have been used and demonstrating its technical advantages. The ISP DAS Ethernet I.O. range available from Amplicon consists of three series. Tiny series, ETPET series and the WISE units. The ISP DAS Tiny series of Ethernet I.O. modules have been designed for applications where a low cost and low channel count solution is required. The technical advantages of these series include digital inputs and outputs, relay outputs, pulse width modulation, frequency input ideal for metering monitoring applications, low power consumption and power over ethernet support. In this application story we can see the tiny series of I.O. modules being used in a building management system which is then connected to an ICP DAS HMI unit which then controls the lighting within the building. The ETPET series is very similar to the tiny series but includes the two exceptional features built-in web HMI to allow users to remotely connect to the ET series and view the current status of the device through a customer defined interface, wide range of IO modules to choose from depending on the signal you wish to measure or control for example support for voltage, milliamp, thermocouple, thermistor, RTD and load cell inputs. Other advantages include digital IO options, relay outputs and power over ethernet support. In this application we can see three ET7016 modules measuring the movement along the bridge using strain gauge sensors. With this information from the ET7016 modules being connected to the Amplicon Impact E100 PC, this information can be logged over a period of time for offline analysis or used to alert the local authority immediately if there is a problem. The ISP DAS Ethernet I.O. modules we've looked at so far require a PC or controller to request the information being measured before a decision to do a control output or alert the operator is made. The WISE units has the same I.O. functionality but has the added benefit of built-in control. To use the WISE units and set up the conditions to determine when an action needs to happen, you don't have to be a programmer. Using a user-friendly Windows environment, engineers can use if-then-else statements to set up the conditions. There is also the feature to alert an engineer when a condition is met on the WISE unit that an SMS or email is sent to a predetermined number or email address. The WISE units also come with the option to store data locally and again support power over Ethernet. In this application we have a water tank that uses a float and limit switch to show the level of water which is connected to the WISE 5801 module. When the limit switch goes to a high as a result of the water tank hitting a certain level, the WISE 5801 then turns the pump on using a relay output. As well as the pump being turned on, an SMS message is sent to the local environment agency to highlight a problem. All the ISPDAS Ethernet I.O. modules discussed in this video supports Modbus TCP IP, making it ideal solution for most process control applications. The series also supports C programming, Visual Studio.net and LabVIEW. For customers who do not have any software programming skills or are looking for a low cost solution, ISPDAS offers Easy Data Logger, a free software to measure, control and log data easily. I hope you have found this video helpful and informative. For further details on the ISP DAS range of Ethernet I.O. modules available from Amplicon, please contact our measurement control team on 01273 570 220 or email us at sales at amplicon.com. Thank you for watching.